Hi, it's me, Bad B. I'm back. So, over Eid, my husband took me to Turkey. We went to Istanbul. I was really pleasantly surprised. I'd never been to Turkey before, and I don't know what I was expecting. The expectations versus reality. It was amazing. We loved it so much, and we would definitely go back. It's only a four-hour flight from Doha as well, so super convenient. So I'll just take you through our entire trip. It was four days. Our flight was from Hamad International Airport. So there are two airports in Istanbul. There's Istanbul Airport, which is on the European side. And that was where we were flying into. And our flight was at about 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or something like that. We had to get to the airport at 11. So then we had it. We tried to have a bit of a nap at about 7 p.m couldn't sleep, too excited. After we went through immigration and everything, we decided to walk through the orchard, which is the rainforest that's inside Hamad International Airport. It's really pretty. I also saw this Oreo creation world, which I'm not a huge fan of Oreos. I love limited edition things. So in Japan, it's called Kikan Gente. I love that stuff. But yeah, it was midnight, so I wasn't going to eat anything. Actually, I spoke too soon. So <laughs> my husband, because his uh, Qatar Airways Privilege Club is super duper high, he got us two lounge passes for the business class lounge. It's not near the main concourse, not near Lampeb, way over the other side. You have to take the little monorail to get there. It just says Platinum and Gold Lounge North. We got in there. It was really busy. I was really surprised because it was midnight. The kind of annoying thing about this lounge was it's open air. So you have all the airport sounds because it's just kind of a balcony upwards. They have a dining area where you can sit down and they have a menu when you order food. They also have the a la carte stuff that they have at every airport lounge. The menu is also via QR code, which I hate. <laughs> well, actually, no, I don't mind looking at the menu via QR code, but I hate ordering via QR code. You should physically come and get my order. So I make sure it's right. They had a really extensive dining menu and my husband decided to get the California salmon roll. Oh, I don't know if I want to do raw fish at the airport, even though it's the airport lounge. I think I read on the Qatar subreddit that someone got sick from it, so I was like, hell no. I decided to get the vegetable maki. It was delicious. I kind of wish I got the salmon one now. Both were really tiny. I also wanted to get the molten lava cake, but it took forever to come, and we had to leave for our flight because like, that guy got his instantly. And his looked really good. It had perfect chocolate ice cream on top. It wasn't molten inside. It was not good. I also love about Middle Eastern countries how you can get lots of cool non-alcoholic drinks because I don't drink alcohol, obviously. My husband and I both got chamomile and elderflower iced teas. They sounded super fancy. It was delicious, but it was just so sweet. Depending on which flight you catch, Hamad International Airport is massive and there's flights going in and out constantly. So I guess to Turkey at this time of night, it's probably not a priority flight. So we had to walk really far to our gate and then you have to take a shuttle from the gate to the actual plane, which is completely fine. You know, not every plane can depart straight away from the gate. We got to sit in our seats. What was really cool was that because it was a really old plane, you can see by the entertainment screen it was just 242 I think or 232 it was just my husband and I sitting together he slept the whole time I don't know how I couldn't sleep he doesn't eat on the plane either oh yeah I'm gonna eat I decided to get stir-fried chicken and rice thing it was really good and oh my god this was the best dessert I've ever had on the plane it was a chocolate cake in kind of a chocolate mousse with little crunchy things on top it was so good yeah and then so we arrived in Istanbul at about 6 a.m. no wait 5 a.m. 6 a.m. round about there beautiful sunny day perfect weather my husband was really impressed with Istanbul airport we got our luggage really quickly my husband had we watched all these YouTube videos about how to get from the airport to where you're staying and my husband organized a private airport transfer with the hotel so we went out of gate 14 and we waited there for a little bit and then we walked to our private minivan. It was super cool because there were these stars on the roof. 
we also got to face each other because it was such a huge van. You could have a family in there and there were little bottles of water for us, which is great because I'm always just super dehydrated after flights. Really nice, quite a long trip from the airport, but it wasn't too bad. It was absolutely beautiful seeing the scenery in Istanbul. Then we got to our hotel. Then because it was super early, we couldn't actually check into our hotel yet. We walked around the old town. It's so pretty. I cannot emphasize how beautiful it is. I've got so much B-roll. Because it was so early in the morning as well, there was just no one around. What I also love about Turkey, so when I did my master's degree, I met one of my best friends now, we've never actually met in person, talk to her almost every day. Anyway, so she's an international school teacher as well. She's also Australian, but she's from Queensland. She was like, you're going to love Turkey. There's dogs and cats everywhere, like stray ones, but they're really well looked after. So they're just really calm and just kind of hanging out. They're super cute. They kind of look dirty, but not dangerous. And yeah, they're just hanging out everywhere. I tried to get as many dog and cat <laughs> B-roll as possible. Lots of beautiful architecture in the old town. They have a little tram going by. Lots of beautiful restaurants. We decided to get breakfast at this cute looking restaurant. But we watched on YouTube, try not to get caught by these scams. And apparently in Turkey, they'll give you a menu and then you'll order. And then later when you go to pay, they'll be like, oh, the price is three times what it was. And they'll show you some other menu with these new prices. We always made sure to take photos of our menu, but you know, we never got scammed in that way. Anyway, I decided to get a croissant and scrambled eggs and my husband just got eggs. It was really good, delicious. The tomatoes were so good. Then we just walked around more, lots of cool art everywhere. Went back to the hotel because our room was ready. Then after that, we decided to keep walking around. We decided to go to, I think the palace and my husband really wanted to see the harem. The gardens were pretty. We saw him, I mean, it was all right. And yeah, saw a cat, took a photo. Okay, so funny. So remember how in Belgium, we went to the Starbucks in the square and they got my name wrong? Anyway, so at this Starbucks, that was in the old town, I decided to order these infusion teas, which were really nice. But anyway, they got my name wrong again. <laughs> I don't know if you can guess what my name is. I just thought it was hilarious. Got my Starbucks mug because we collect them. Just kept walking around. It was boiling, but I didn't want to change because I didn't want to dirty a new set of clothes. Yeah, oh my God. So there was this meme that I saw on Instagram where it showed the Ottoman Empire in its glory days and then Turkish people now and the dog meme, the Shiba Inu, and in the Ottoman Empire, it's like, we are the greatest army in the world. <laughs> and then now, current Turkey, it's like a guy with a little fez, like a little um, dog with a fez, and he's like, ice cream, grab it. <laughs> And I just kept laughing about that every time we walked past a Turkish ice cream place. I wanted to get it, but I just never got around to it because I just wasn't hungry. Kept walking around looking at all the beautiful scenery. Saw this cute little bike car thingy. Because it was Eid, the Grand Bazaar and the Spice Bazaar were closed for the whole time we were there. But that's okay. My husband's like, we'll just have to go back. Yeah, it was just beautiful and quiet because it was a Sunday, I guess. For dinner, we saw this kind of cute restaurant i just felt like a salad because you know how when you travel you just don't eat enough vegetables anyway it was crispy chicken salad it was pretty good my husband asked for two iced teas they only gave him one and a water they didn't give him a water but that's okay it was really hot in there as well i decided to have baklava and turkish delight but i kind of regret it because it was just too sweet but at least i could have ticked it off i got an assortment Pistachio Turkish Delight, Walnut Baklava, which was soupy and wet but delicious, Dry Baklava, which didn't have as much syrup, which was also good, and then this kind of nougaty rose water nougat delight thing, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Uh, then we went back to the hotel, but oh my god, so I left my Starbucks mug there, but then by the time I realized I'd already showered, so I was like, oh, I don't want to go out again. My husband's like, don't worry. It'll be there tomorrow. I tried to call the number on the receipt. It didn't go through for some reason. Got back to the hotel, saw this dude. <laughs> Got you. I took a video of it and then the guy was like, oh, do you know his name? And I was like, oh, no. Tried to tell me the story. Didn't know the names and stuff in English. So he's like, oh, but it's a good story. Oh, cool. Thanks. It was so sweet, the thought. <laughs> that was our first day in Turkey. The next day. 
day two in Turkey, I wanted to dress really respectfully because it is still a Muslim country, similar to Doha, neck to ankle and long sleeves. Also because it's hot, you don't want to be exposed to the sun. So there was this Uniqlo dress that looks like a dish dash basically, has pockets. On the first day, we obviously didn't have breakfast at the hotel because we got in late. But from then on, it was the best decision ever. So they have breakfast on the rooftop. You have a view of all of Istanbul. It is so beautiful. And the breakfast is incredible. So the aesthetic as well, they had these beautiful Medusa plates. And my husband was like, I'll just get eggs. I got Turkish breakfast. It was massive. They have Turkish sausage, which is ground meat with lots of spices. Wasn't a huge fan. Fruit. Oh, this thing that was cottage cheese and berries. It was so good. Different kinds of cheese. I think halloumi, cheddar, and Turkish string cheese, which was so good. Olives, ew. These deep fried cheesy things, which was so good. Roasted potatoes. Homemade jam. So there's kumquat jam. And then the dark one is walnut jam. It was not the best. Then there was fruits, dry fruits, nuts, deli meats, salsa, which was spicy. Veggies. Tomatoes is so good. Oh my God. Actual honeycomb and honey with more of the cottage cheesing destroyed it oh and bread basket i couldn't eat it all the one little tiny turkish bread on top it was so good amazing my husband didn't have any of it we decided to head out for the day saw another cat super cute walked up to the old town again we were going to go to the Hagia Sophia, so i brought my scarf to cover my head we had to wait a while to get the tickets but after that you're just kind of shepherded in it's super annoying because I wanted to look at stuff that I didn't want to push in front of people, but people just push in front of you. It happens in Doha a lot too. It's really frustrating. Man, you see, I'm waiting. What? Oh, so frustrated. Anyway, it was really beautiful. Very impressive, but just so hot in there. Obviously, it's so old. There's no air con in there. And because we're foreigners and we're not Muslim, we're not allowed on the first level because we're not going to pray. We're just allowed on the second level to look at it. Super beautiful. I saw that Jesus. Yeah, he's hanging out in the mosaic. Then after that, we walked around the old town a little bit more. We saw the obelisks. Then we decided to go to a different mosque. It was the blue mosque. Had my scarf on again. This one was also impressive, but yeah, super packed and you have to take off your shoes and I forgot to bring socks and I was barefoot on this carpet. Some people were just not dressed appropriately at all. Not just in the mosque, but Turkey. It's a Muslim country. You can't be wearing crop tops and tiny skirts where I can see your butt. Another dog. We were supposed to have entry into the Hagia Sophia Museum along with our Hagia Sophia mosque tickets, but then my husband lost it, so then we couldn't go into the museum. But I think he was kind of done with it anyway. Oh my god, so in Istanbul, they have these massive seagulls. They're so big, kind of scary. They look like shearwaters, but they're not. They're just seagulls. Massive seagulls. We just walked around the old town a bit, saw a kebab. Oh yeah, ice cream. Grab it. Went back to Starbucks because we needed a drink and just to sit in air conditioning. They got my name right. I saw this really beautiful Turkish rug as well. Anyway, we walked around more. Oh, okay. This was definitely the next part was probably one of the highlights of the trip. We went into the Theodosius cistern. It was incredible because they had this light show. Oh my God, it was so pretty. Turkey's 100 year birthday, 100 year anniversary of Turkey. So they had this whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, they had history and a light show, music. It was so good. I could have stayed in there for hours, but then this little kid was crying. It was so annoying. Then we decided to get a drink above the sister and they had a little cafe but there was no one working there and I was just standing at the counter waiting to order and then one of the guests was like they're outside and I was like oh, okay I went outside can I order and they're like oh yeah slowly took their time it's just okay she was just chilling with her friends which is great girl you have customers I got a hibiscus tea my husband got a fizzy water then we walked around the old town a little bit more it was so hot we saw the traffic police car it was a Bentley <laughs> Then we walked through a park. Park was it? 
Gilhan Park saw some graffiti, not as much as other places. It just said boycott Israel. What I think is kind of funny about Turkish is the words are very similar, just different spelling. So another cat it was so cute. It looked like a kitten. Someone was doing a mural, so pretty. Walked towards the tramway. It got so busy. We decided to get a coffee. And then after that, we just needed to go back to the hotel and have a little rest because it was just exhausting. We decided to have dinner in the hotel on the rooftop that night. And it was the best decision we ever made. It's the best view. There was no one around. Just so you know, though, if you're going to have dinner in the hotel on the rooftop it's a smart casual dress code i only had my husband calls them krugs cloud uggs krug sandals but luckily they let me in they had bread and oh my god this garlic butter it was delicious but yeah the bread kind of made my throat a bit itchy. So i have to stop eating it i asked them for some white bread and they had that my husband ate all the butter He's pretty easy. He eats anything, so it's always up to me to order. I got hummus, and okay, this is no normal hummus. It had bits of dried fruit and marmalade and stuff in it. Oh my God, it was amazing. It made such a big difference, such a symphony of flavors. Chopped salad, which was pretty tart. Really nice, so refreshing. Then we decided to split a main. It was slow roasted beef with, I think, potato mash, and it had an insane amount of truffles on the top. I don't know what the big deal is with truffles. It just kind of tasted like dirt. The slow roasted beef, it just melted in your mouth. It was so good. We also got these meatballs, kofta, yogurt. And I mean, it was nice. After the slow roasted beef, these were just really dry and really hard. Lamb kofta, I think. Then for a drink, I had a chili. No, wait, what did I have? Singapore lemonade, which was chili lemonade, red fruits, fresh sage, and ginger soda. It was spicy. I liked it. My husband got an Acer Effendi, I just love the pick, which was basil, no wait, I got the Acer Effendi, which was basil, nut syrup, honey and soda, just found nut syrup funny. They also had a DJ there, he was playing a really good set. While we were walking around, we went past Watson's and when you're walking around in the sun all day, it's just exhausting and hot and you feel dehydrated, so we got a whole bunch of masks from Watson's, it was great. The next day. Went back up to the rooftop for breakfast. I got the Turkish breakfast again, but my husband helped me this time. Still delicious, so good. Walked around, it. oh, but it was so annoying. I was wearing a jersey dress and then I had the white shirt dressing on top of it, but I spilled oil on my jersey dress and now it won't come out. Walked around again, went down to where the bazaar is and they have a few stores, I guess, outside of the bazaar and that was open. We decided to walk across the bridge to Katakoy today. Another cat just hanging out. Such a beautiful view. The Bosphorus is a strait, not a river. And they get really mad if you call it a river. So my husband intentionally, the Bosphorus River, it's a strait. Lots of people were fishing. Oh my God. And then we walked up this street and there was amazing art on the shutters of these garage door type things. All these famous people. It looked so good. The art was amazing. But yeah, Turkey, well, Istanbul is such a hilly city and we walked a lot. It was pretty tiring. We went to the Galata Tower. We didn't go up it. We just saw it, looked at it. Oh man, I've got a mad camel toe because this dress clung to me and it was windy. Kept walking around. Super pretty. Oh, I don't know what the shopping strip is called. It's the main shopping street. Anyway, we walked down there. It was really nice. Got a coffee. Saw the old timey tram go past the Taksim. Oh no, Taksim Square. So we walked up and down there through the shopping street and we saw the little Taksim tram go past. Happy 100th anniversary to the Republic of Turkey. We kept walking around and we got to Nishan Tanzi, which is the fancy neighborhood where a lot of expats live. There's all the fancy stores there, St. Regis. Um, we went to this little cafe. I got a Spanish detox juice, which was spinach, green apple, kiwi, cucumber, and lemon. So nice and refreshing. The chunks in it were kind of agitating my throat. It was really good. Big fat pregnant cat was just lying down inside, just chilling. Another cat. We walked through a park. <laughs> there was this sign that said porno. That was funny. Lots of cats. Then we decided to go back to the hotel, but we were in the middle of Macha Demokrazi Parky. They had this cable car that goes through the park. And then so we got a Metro card, Istanbul Metro card, and then went on the cable car. You have to wait for it to be full. There was no aircon in there. It was really hot. It was really fun. I enjoyed the ride.
then we decided to walk down to the tramway, which is by the water. The tram wasn't my favorite. It was just packed and kind of disgusting. But you know how public transport is in big cities. I was starving. So it was about 3 p.m. and we hadn't eaten lunch. So I got some kebab, chicken kebab. It was delicious. The meat was really good. The chips were kind of gross though. There was this cat that was just hanging around being like, give me food. And then after that, we didn't want to go back to the hotel so early. And so my friend Naomi I was talking about from my master's, she and her wife love going to get shisha all the time. And my husband, obviously he used to live in the Middle East and he used to smoke shisha all the time. I'd never done it before. But you know what? When in Rome, I'm just going to do it just to see what it's like. So I've never smoked anything. And we went to, oh, what hotel was it? The place was called Hookah Bars, like H-U-Q-Q-A-B-A-Z. I got mojito lime drink and my husband got double apple, which is crap crap flavored hookah. I didn't love it. I don't think I'd do it again. It was just scratchy in my throat. Yeah, it was, it was not the best. Oh, I got this amazing salad though. It was a chicken salad and it had salad and it had salad greens, tomatoes, avocado, strawberries, walnuts. It was so good. And my husband got this grilled cheese sandwich, pizza sandwich. It was delicious, but he couldn't finish it all. Another cat just hanging around being like, eee. Because I've been wearing a hat because I can't go in the sun. I'm using tread at the moment. Also because I hate being in the sun. I don't want to age. I don't want to tan. My hair just could not handle being in the hat. It looked so bad every time I took it off. The next day. We went up to our rooftop and got breakfast again. Today I decided to get American breakfast, which was beef bacon, eggs, pancakes, bread basket, fruit. It was so good. Chocolate croissant. Oh my God. To die for. My husband got eggs Florentine, I think. Then we weren't really in a rush to go anywhere. So we went back to the hotel room. Anyway, then I had to get some souvenirs. So I got my nieces oh, and me a little evil eye bracelet. It was super cute. More dogs just walking around. There was a pack of them just walking around the main stretch. I went to this, I guess it has tea and Turkish delight. What annoys me so much? I've talked about this before. Do not guess where someone is from unless you're 100% sure. Anyway, I walk in and the guy's like, Ni hao! And I was just like, I, I speak English. And he's like, oh, English, okay. And, and he gave me some Turkish tea to try. It was too sweet. Did not love it. And then some Turkish delight. It was nice, but yeah, too sweet. Like it hurt my teeth. I got some Turkish delight from my mother-in-law. Then we just walked around more. Went to the Spice Bazaar. Oh, man. <laughs> Ice cream. Grab it. I should have gotten it. When we were walking through this area with all the stalls and stuff, my husband's like, oh, you got a ni hao and a konnichiwa. And I was just like, I didn't hear. Oh, so when we were walking through that area, there was this guy in front, an old man. Well, not old, 50 years old. Anyway, he was walking in front of us. He had a shoe shine kit and he dropped his brush. And I was like, oh, you dropped your brush. And I went to pick it up. My husband's like, don't pick it up. Why? Here you go. And then we just kept walking. My husband's like, it's a scam. How is it a scam? Well, you pick it up. He was hoping I would have picked it up, as in my husband, and then he would have shined my shoes for free, but then charged me heaps of money. And, oh, but I'm wearing sandals. He couldn't shine my shoes. Yeah, but still, don't pick it up. It's a shame because you just want to help people, but they're trying to scam you. Also, oh my God, so remember that restaurant on the first night where I had that crispy chicken salad? And my husband only got one of the two teas he ordered. I left my Starbucks mug there. We went back the next day and they're like, there's nothing left. I didn't get my Starbucks mug and my husband's like, we'll just have to go back. Went back to the hotel, had a little bit of a rest. My husband wasn't feeling so well because we were leaving the next day pretty early in the morning. We had to leave the hotel at about 4 a.m. My husband's like, why don't you go to the spa? Because it's 50% off. And I never had a hammam massage. Hell yeah, I'll do that. It was really pretty. Oh my God. You get changed, you have your little towel, but then you have to go into the sauna 10 minutes to open up your pores. I don't like it. I hate being really hot. It was just so hot and uncomfortable. Did not love it. They had amazing slippers at this hotel too. I took some home. <laughs> they give you this disposable underwear to wear. <laughs> Not at all attractive. It's a hairnet. The actual hammam, like obviously I couldn't take video, but the lady was from Bali. You go in and there's this huge stone dace that's heated, really hot and really hard, and you lie down on there. And first she scrubs your body all over with this mitt. Yeah, all the dead skin comes off. It was so disgusting. There was so much dead skin. Then after that, she gets this towel and she makes heaps of bubbles. 
just lathers you in them. I'm so ticklish. They kept going on my neck and I just couldn't stop laughing. And then she scrubs you all over and then massages you really hard. And she's just like so many knots like in my back. Then afterwards she rinses you off and gives you kind of an exfoliating facial and then a coconut oil hair massage. It was so nice. And after that, my husband's like, do you want to have dinner on the rooftop or order in? We haven't had Monty yet. I'm going to order in. So I got my Omni Lux on because, you know, skincare every day. Got my Monty. They kind of just tasted like sausage roll dumplings. I mean, it was okay. I wouldn't get it again. They called it crunchy or boiled ravioli. I got boiled. The next day. We had to leave the hotel at four so i got up at 2 45 because got to get ready and got to pack my husband got ready at 3 40 still made it in time packed everything away i was so sleepy we organized another airport transfer but this time to swa airport the one on the asian side it was really sweet it was an orange juice and a sandwich but i think they made it the night before so it was kind of dry but it's just oh it's so sweet we left the hotel this time our airport transfer guy was all right <laughs> There were no stars on the roof. There were no waters. But yeah, he was nice enough. The car kind of smelled like Siggy's though. Got to the airport at about 4.30. So usually you should take an hour. But yeah, it was really fast because obviously it was a weird time of night or morning. Someone had their dog in the airport, a little toy poodle. Checked in really fast. And because my husband is really high up on the Qatar Airways privilege tier, we got fast track, so we didn't have to go through the regular customs line. We went through a special customs line. So good. We also got access to the business class lounge, even though it wasn't business class. Walked through the shops. So there's the Plaza Premium Lounge, which I thought we were going to go into. There are two Plaza Premium Lounges. There's regular Plaza Premium Lounge, which is the Priority Pass one, which we could have gotten into if we didn't have the pass from the Qatar Airways people. But this was the business class plus pre premium lounge it was really nice but you had to pay for drinks unless you got water and instant coffee really good view of all the planes which i love looking at the food was kind of meh i decided to get a latte tried to get into my breakfast box sandwich it was super dry bread cream cheese and jam it was okay kind of dry again it was really nice watching them load the planes I had never actually watched it before but yeah Qatar Airways, so efficient. About six or 10 to seven, it was time to go to the gate so we could get on our flight. My husband slept the whole time again. We got exit row, but oh my God. So this time it was an even smaller plane. You remember in Australia in the early 2000s, the domestic airplanes that have no seat back entertainment. Anyway, we got exit row. So there was heaps of leg room, no entertainment. My husband slept. It's about a four hour flight back to Doha. Yeah, my husband didn't eat. I ate, it was really good. So there was fruit salad, cinnamony apple and yogurt thing. And it was a frittata. Yeah, actually it was only, okay. A frittata with soggy kind of potato, mushy spinach, and this chicken sausage that looked kind of funny. Oh my God. Teenage kid in front of me kept farting the entire time. It was absolutely disgusting. Dude, we're on a plane. We have no air. Stop farting. Oh my God. It was absolutely gross. Oh, I don't know if anyone else could smell it. But yeah, I got the window seat, which usually I don't like, but I got to see a lot of Doha when we were flying in. We got off the plane, went to baggage claim, got in the kawa, got back home at about midday, had a shower. I was like, we should go to the gym. My husband's like, yeah, yeah. He ordered in kebabs on Talabat. They were okay. I wouldn't get them again. That was our four-day trip to Istanbul. We loved it so much. We will definitely go back. We haven't been to Cappadocia. Got to go get my Starbucks mug. Highly recommend. Stay tuned for more travel. Oh, wait. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh. Stay tuned for more travel things and expat life things.